private citizens. Consenting adults, yes. by the way. And this guy is still trying to make the distinction between a public figure and a private figure. And here in this case, I don't care that Hulk Hogan was a public figure. I don't care that he was on the media talking about sex, talking about salacious things, even talking about the sex tape. This was a private moment he had in a private bedroom. And he didn't know he's being recorded. The Dr. argument Drew. would be that if, uh, to take this argument to its, his, the Gawker's argument to right. the logical conclusion, it would be if you do a porn, you have no private rights because after all you're out there doing porn I have all the time. better for you. Tell me. It would mean that you wouldn't have any privacy rights because you yourself as a physician and on some of your shows talk about sexual issues. Yeah, you I know. You talk about right, sexual listen. things. So right. would that mean that that God forbid if you and Susan had some type of sex tape recorded that that would give the media just free reign to publish it because you've waived your right because, to your sex be, because life? Because I'm a public citizen who has a public forum where sexuality is discussed. Discuss. Therefore, my privacy rights, Kurt, let me read you this. Preposterous. From the than ordinary people. Is that in the law somewhere? A narrow that is true. Okay. You have right. a lowered expectation of privacy, <laughs> not a zero okay. expectation Okay, self-promoters should not be allowed to seek it to Because things. that's for things that are newsworthy, things it, that have some redeeming value. Arguably, if you're a celebrity or a politician, you do have a lesser expectation of privacy because issues surrounding you are newsworthy. But this is a sex tape. How this yeah. Where's I mean, the redeeming value? How, how, how can we Where imagine a way in which this becomes newsworthy? Uh, it, 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 what, it isn't what? newsworthy, and there isn't a value, and aesthetically, could you make Hulk Hogan with his friend's wife newsworthy? I'll tell you. How? The defense is arguing because Hulk Hogan, Terry Bollea, whatever you are, you are going on television. You are going on Howard Stern. You're talking about sex. You're talking about your penis. You're talking about salacious things. Therefore, you have made your sex life an issue, something that is of public interest, and the public has a right to see you in a sex tape. It's a flawed argument. I disagree with it legally and factually. So give me another example. I, I, this is bizarre to me what people are looking for at that, but Hulk Hogan is, without his knowledge, film that gets out that they would show An inconsistent argument and frankly the the press release that Gawker put out today saying well Hulk Hogan's real motivation in filing this the lawsuit yeah had nothing to do with the sex tape he was trying to prevent the use of the n-word and that's reprehensible to the max I admit that's terrible he said it's that irrelevant. right there he, he talked about how right it's irrelevant. Was. Yeah. he's admitted it but but yeah. the fact is it's irrelevant for purposes of appeal it's irrelevant in the court of law it might be relevant in the court of public opinion but I think the way this juror has sent this message awarding him more than he even asked for I mean that that's I and, think and what I hear them saying is Okay. <laughs> am I wrong, Anita? I mean, I, I, I'm not wrong. Am I? I don't, I don't know what news is anymore. These people don't know what news. I think it's. Aren't they? Are they all British? All these guys? Is, is, there, is there a cultural thing here? I'm, I'm it's missing. about money. It's about making money, Doctor Drew. And I think that's the point here. Is but that they will do it at any price in order to get the publicity. Primitive, sacrificial it, it, impulse. But, but there's Anahita and Kurt. Anahita, this is a 45 caliber weapon, no holster, loaded and maybe cocked. Maybe maybe the cock could the cocking have happened as it no, flipped, there's, flipped through. No, there's no maybe. It had to be. All right, locked Anahita and cocked under the front right. seat. Mm. Okay, good. she should have known better. She owns a lot of guns. She's a pro-gun advocate. But this was just a terrible mistake, Dr. Drew. I don't think it's criminal. And I think she's learned her lesson. She's laying in a hospital bed right now. She has a gunshot to, to her back. Yeah. And, you know, to charge her criminally, I'm not sure that that's what this law was intended for. I, yeah. She should have well, known on, better. At least once they're charged. Negligent. But I'm sort of still fascinated by this idea that you, you, was she sitting? Violated. Some gun safety lessons, you know, take her guns away for a while until she proves that she took some classes. But criminal, Dr. Drew, if you use that logic, then we would prosecute practically every parent because every parent at one <laughs> point or another makes a, a, har mistake. a mistake yeah. that potentially harms their children. And then what would we do? Run and prosecute? That's a pretty damn big mistake. Yeah, but she has a point. That's a jail. 45 uh, well, caliber. But, but I, our jails but would be full. Hang on, though. The, but there, there's two very striking issues. <laughs> the car accident. accident. What yeah. if you caught, do, does that mean your car gets taken I, away from well, you? If well, you're negligent. I'm sorry, if, if the conduct's not intentional, and that's my problem with criminalizing this type of behavior, it sets a bad precedent. And I, I agree I, that she should be held accountable, but I'm not quite sure putting her in jail and keeping her away from her child. Well, that, that's, it's a misdemeanor. misdemeanor. That's a question. It's, Stop. A mis it's a misdemeanor. The Thank law you. means don't have your gun laying around on your coffee table when you have little infants and children running oh, around. Yeah. This was an accident. She put the gun in between her seat. This is what she claims, and this is in the police report, and the gun slid back. It wasn't even her car. It was nothing intentional. I don't even well, want to say it wasn't intentional. Negligence. I don't, I don't, I don't, it was it gross I don't negligence. Even, I don't even think it was gross negligence. Oh, I think terrible gross. accidents like this happened. Thank God no one got killed and the damage wasn't worse. But I, taking I, her away from her her child and putting her in jail, even well, if it's for a month, I, I don't I, think I, it I'm super sympathetic, Danny.
he'd say, I don't think any of this matters. But people emotionally react to all that, particularly people that are sort of concerned about firearms right. and go, she got, she got what's coming to her. And that's what's disturbing to me because I read some of the social media comments and people commenting to her pictures and posts and I'm concerned, actually very disturbed, that people are using their hate for guns or their opinions on gun control laws as a way to sort of lash out and make judgments based on this incident. It's that mob mentality yes. that really disturbs me, let, Dr. Let Drew. Me, let me read one for you. Citizens. And, I mean, it's do we, again. Do we take her guns away? Do you think that she should have her guns taken away as a result of this? No, I think I think probation is probably How about the appropriate child? here. Is she, uh, is she a fit parent? You know, that's a tougher question. You're saying she probably no. is, but we. I'd like to see a bigger picture. And she. You're discounting the fact that accidents do happen. I'm not saying this was a good thing, but do we take her children away? People are saying calling CPS it accident. should take her children He's away. He's calling it negligent. You're calling it an accident. I'm calling it an, a yeah. yes, an accident. It's all. I, I agree, but I think there's going to be some punishment involved sure. as well because she admitted that, well jail time. Not well, she's in jail now. Probation. Well, yeah. that's because she wasn't able to post bail. But well, I mean, in terms of what served. the punishment will be, yeah. because Dr. Drew, she admitted it was her. She admitted that that was her child, and she was smoking meth. So I agree. She she definitely needs to get treatment. I love the fact that she accepted responsibility, and that's going to really help her defense attorney make those arguments in mitigation of whatever sentence she may get. Right, because I'm an enthusiast. Doesn't treat. But it's an It illness. takes time. It and is. And you always say that you know drug addiction is so profound and when I saw that picture I thought of yep. you saying yep. that because it's like it's that deep that profound that, that she's smoking with her little infant child next to her and that shows how ill she no is no insight but loves the drugs more, more in that moment now when she's so